What's up guys? So in today's video we're going to be looking at all of my biggest shells and we're going to be looking really close up to them with all of their details, their dimensions, their weights and everything, having a really good look at them. So first off, I'm going to get uh, them and put them on the ground and line them up and then go from there. So here's a little view around them. I bought two different ones today so I'm really excited to show you guys those ones. Number one, you guys know it had to be this uh, four kilo Cassius Cornuta helmet shell. An absolute bomb of a shell. This thing is over a hundred years old. It is over four kilos and I am not sure on the exact dimensions right now, but I'll put them all up on the screen right here. It'll have the weight dimensions and that sort of thing. So this is the size of it. Uh, I bought it from Coastal Vintage in Noosa. Queensland. Uh, I paid a pretty fair price. I'll actually put the prices up. All right. So I paid $275 AUD for this. That, in my opinion, is an extremely, extremely good price because I have never, ever, ever seen one this big. You cannot really tell how big it is through the photos, you know, in the video. This is my hand. I'm a six foot guy. I got a big hand. Look at the size of this compared to my hand. This is an absolute giant. This is one of my most prized possessions. Absolutely. If it, if not my most prized. Take a closer look up at it. We can actually put you guys into it. I don't know if you guys can see a lot in there. But, yeah. My whole, uh... I used to be able to fit my whole forearm in there. Yeah, look at that. I could fit my whole entire hand in there. Isn't that crazy? That's so crazy. So yeah, this is the 4 kilo, one of the biggest in Australia, Cassis Cornuta Queen's Helmet, uh, not Queen's Helmet, just a regular helmet shell. Bit of a closer look up at it, got the tail here, very very cool, it's about the size of this GoPro. Um, but yeah, this is my, one of my, well actually my biggest and heaviest shell I actually own. I really really love this shell, can't believe it's a shell. It's real. It's 100% real, guys. Unbelievable. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's try some transitions. There we go. Ah, I don't know. All righty, guys. I actually bought this one today. It is a Syrinx Oranus or a giant Australian spindle shell. I did buy this one today, and I paid $299. Now, I have never, ever seen one this long and this thick. That's why I bought it, okay? This is 56 centimeters long from tip to tip, and I believe it weighs 2.6 kilograms. It is extremely good condition. It is not painted. This is a very white shell. This is a, its original color. It's not painted or anything. It was found from uh, the Great Barrier Reef, I believe. I bought it from a store in Noosa, but they actually get their shells from uh, from a guy that dives legally and finds these shells and sells these shells legally. He has a license he pays about $20,000 a year for. And he is one of the only ones that can legally take these sort of large shells. He does find them empty, of course, but um, or dead. Either way, it's still okay. But, yeah. If you guys have not been following my Instagram, then you would only remember this one. This one is 46 centimeters, so not my biggest anymore, but here's a size comparison. From tip to tip, let's try and move those close together. From tip to tip, you can sort of see that this one is quite, quite longer. It is, they're both beautiful shells. I paid $2.99 for this and $199 for this. So, and this one's uh, spire is a bit damaged, whereas that one is pretty perfect. So, also this one is much thinner, so I don't think it could have gotten much bigger than that. But uh, yeah, that is number two on my uh, shell list, my biggest shell list. So I'll put that one behind there and go on to the next one. Up next on the list, we have a Triton Trumpet Shell. This one is exactly 33 centimeters long, and it is in pretty good condition. It has all of its colors pretty well still. But uh, the only problem with this one is it has no cracks or holes or anything. 
just the uh, tip of the spire here is kind of broken. And uh, that's okay because I paid a pretty good price. I paid 140 I believe. And for this size, I believe that's pretty fair. It's really hard to buy them in Australia this, this size because they're now legal to take from Australian waters. Uh, no matter if they're live, I mean no matter if they're empty, live or dead, you cannot take them. So just like the spindles, they're very, very hard to get now. So I actually bought this from the market, and yeah, I've never really seen a store with them this size. Here's a closer look at the patterns. I absolutely love the patterns, especially this, uh, these teeth sort of things here. I'm not sure exactly what that's called, but it's very cool to me. So that's number three on the list. That is a Australian Triton trumpet. I have all the dimensions here again. Next up, we have the absolute mammoth of a sea urchin. This sea urchin here is very, very expensive. I'm not sure on the exact name. There are hundreds and hundreds of names for sea urchins and different kinds. So it will be pretty hard for me to search this one up. But I bought this from uh, Gifts of Character in Noosa. Same place I bought the spindle. And I paid... Oh no, actually sorry. I bought it from Tres Noosa. And I paid... 84 or 85 dollars pretty fair price uh, i've never ever seen any other stores have these i have seen coast uh not coast of vintage um gifts of character have them but that was after i bought this one so yeah the giant sea urchin i absolutely love the colors super nice like look at those patterns unreal inside of it very very cool again so that's number four on the list. Again, I'll have all the uh, dimensions and everything here, but obviously it's not going to weigh too much, maybe 100 grams. Moving on to the next one. Next up, we have the giant, absolute giant of a whelk. So I believe this is a lightning whelk. Uh, I don't really know too much about the whelks because uh, we don't really get them here in Australia at all, to be honest. And um, my books up there do not have any information on them. So I really am not sure about any of these, but again, I'll have the dimensions and everything on here in the video. So yeah, there's not much to say about this one. It is an, it is the original color. It is a right-handed whelk, as you can see. Uh, right, the thing sticks out to the right. Left-handed shells, um, they're pretty hard to get, to be honest. Well, left-handed whelks, anyway, I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, that is the... The lightning whelk, absolute giant of a thing. I'll give you guys some close-ups now. Very plain shell, but it is a giant. I believe I paid $60 for this one up at uh, Coastal Vintage one day. I just went up there to check out what they had, and they had this giant just sitting there, and I thought, oh, sure, sure, why not? I'll grab that. And, uh, yeah, it's now mine. I had this for quite some time, too. So it does weigh quite a bit, I'd say about a kilo, um, maybe a little bit less, maybe like nine, eight hundred grams, but um, it's kind of hard to say right now, so I'll give you guys all the proper dimensions here, but uh, yeah, giant whelk, lightning whelk I believe. If I'm wrong, please comment down below. Next up we have my pearlized nautilus shell. When I say pearlized, it has been changed to the color of a pearl. I'm pretty sure that just means buffered down and sort of uh, shined up really, really nice. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. But um, very, very nice shell. Very, very, very thin at the top here. Like you can see there, it's extremely thin. But it is quite a good size. It's really not that heavy because it's pretty much just hollow inside. This is the inside of what it looks like. So it has all these layers here, and then it goes right down into the middle there. And that's the end where you can actually see through there. So that would be the, uh, that'd be the center. I did find this piece myself. I found this up at Majimba. And yeah. So moving on. I will say that I paid $80 for this one. And it weighs probably about 300 grams, to be honest. Not not too much, but uh, I paid $80 and I bought it at Mulaney Markets. 
yeah, I bought it a long, long, long time ago, maybe like five, six, seven months ago. I've had it for a very long time, but uh, yeah, I paid about $80, and I bought it from the Mulaney Markets, I believe. Super nice shell. Very, very, uh, not sought after, but very popular shell. Many, many, many millions of people know about it. Alright guys, I think that'll conclude the video. I obviously do have a lot of shells, and it's kind of hard to name all the largest ones, but I uh, will give you guys a close-up right now. I just wanted to show you guys closely and in depth of the uh, larger shells that I own. I mean, look at the size of them. Look at that thing. That's unreal. But yeah, that'll conclude the video, guys. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Drop a like and stuff. But um, yeah, I've been trying to think of more ideas to, uh, more video ideas to do at home because lately it's been raining and the tides have been really sort of wacky and out of loop and really high through the day. So I really haven't been able to go look for shells in quite a while. Actually, it's been like two weeks since I've gone since uh, since I've gone in the daytime, and that really sucks because I don't really like filming at night. Um, you can't really see much, to be honest. But uh, yeah, let me know. Oh yeah, I did also buy. So I bought this one today. I bought this one because I had sold my previous one, and I decided to buy it back because I really like the uh, Queen Conscious. So I bought that one the spin bill and I bought another urchin this was like 50 bucks too I couldn't pass that out super super nice I love these massive urchins and what I actually did buy just for myself as a little new toy I bought a brand new blade a brand new surfboard if you guys didn't know I started surfing like two months ago on the big foam board and I'm pretty I'm getting pretty good I think I'm pretty good anyway I'm definitely not good compared to other people but I just enjoy it, so I decided to take the next step and buy a uh, a blade board, you know, a, an X tier board. I think I'm doing pretty well, and I think I could be able to use this. And I think it, I could rip up a little bit more, so that'll be very, very fun to use. I set it up myself, I wax it up, put this one on, put the strap on, put the fins on. Really, really fun process, but uh, yeah. Alright guys, I'll leave it at that. i got to put all my shells back here. And I will catch you guys later. I'm going to try to get a thumbnail. <sighs> Let me see.